What's going on, socialites, and welcome to week number two of the Global Pokemon Invitational Draft League. It's Ryan, head coach, your boss and Braviers. This week, we're taking on our old rivals, Paris saint germain and their team that they have dubbed the Iron Curtain, which is Pin Curtain with a bunch of iron paradox Pokemon, as you see there. Uh, we're bringing Hatterene and Ogre Pawn Hearth Flame for the first time this week. So that should be exciting. Um, their team is definitely scary. We got the Ice Spinner on Weavile, which will help destroy the terrain. Also got Taunt on Weavile, so uh, if we go up again, Pincurch and can taunt it. Uh, Hatterene should be good. Uh, bouncing back any rocks or spikes. He leads off with the Iron Treads. Uh, we were expecting the Pincurgeon, so we went with the Weavile. Obviously, we'll uh, have to get out of there here. We don't have Low Kick or anything on Weavile this week. Gonna kind of swap into Hatterene. Could definitely see... Uh, you know, he could just go for Rocks, which would be real nice. Let us get them up on their side. Or if he does go for an attack, like knock off or something, we can eject button out. It does go for the Stealth Rock, so the Magic Bounce coming into play here. Gonna bounce the rocks back. We do have to fear a potential Iron Head here. Uh, he could also just Rapid Spin his own rocks away. We are bringing the Choice Scarf Walking Wake this week. The main reason for that is in the sun, it will outspeed the Iron Valiant that he used as the uh, booster energy on. And in that vein, uh, with a little bit of damage, we should Oko it with Hydra Steam in the Sun. So he does go for the Rapid Spin. Now if he's max speed Iron Treads, this could be a uh, potential speed tie. Which could get a little nasty, but we're able to win the speed battle there and uh, take out Iron Treads. Getting the first KO here, really nice, so they're not going to get rocks up. My team doesn't really have a hazard setter. Uh, free agency starts next week, we'll probably have to look into some options there. We do have Santa Con on our team, but it's just not something that I feel like bringing right now. You, you see how strong our offensive core is. And I feel like Hatterene does, like, well enough to deter hazards and play a fair game that way. So the Pincurchin comes out here. Don't know if he'll want to go for Spikes or a Thunder Wave or something. Uh, Hatterene could be pretty safe. He could also just Volt Switch out. Um, but again, Hatterene with our eject button will then let us get a free switch in. So H Hatterene really uh, doing some work in this matchup. So we do see the Thunder Wave, so that's basically going to do nothing because we bounce it back, but we can't paralyze the electric type Pincurchin. We can set up a Calm Mind here, though. One of the few Pokemon that Hatterene actually outspeeds. Tries to go for the Thunder Wave thing. We would maybe uh, try to double out here. We're wasting uh, turns of the Electric Terrain, which is nice. So, we could go for another Calm Mind. But, I don't know if he's gonna want to Volt Switch out here, so I think Dazzling Gleam's the play, so that we don't just get Eject Burn right away. Some nice damage with the Dazzling Gleam, but he actually goes for Memento. So he's gonna KO his own Pin Kirchen here. Uh, that does put us at minus one special attack. So I guess the Calm Mind would have been better. But he's going to bring something that we're going to have to swap Hatterene out for, most likely. Uh, 
Those in the iron leaves, a uh, very interesting choice. I don't know what it could really have uh, for Hatterene. Those with a leaf blade. Gonna do some nice damage there. And proc our eject button. So it does give us a swap into a uh, Weavile here. Which, like, Weavile's so nice. Like, it, it just outspeeds so many things, and it's really good into his team. So we can uh, get rid of this electric terrain here with the ice spinner. Gonna outspeed the iron leaves and knock it out. Really nice KO there. We are of course doing really big work for us in our week one game. Just so great for it to have knockoff back with the DLC. Goes into Iron Valiant, so he's not playing around here. I, in his week one game, he was kind of saving Iron Valiant for the very end. Now he's just kind of going for it. Which, I respect that, so we know that we uh, we have the walking wake. If we can just get a little bit of damage on him. We can guarantee the KO with uh, Hydro Steam in the sun. Blast. Not gonna do too much to Nine Tails. Uh, gonna sack Hatterene here. I think it will be the play. Our only Pokemon we can Terrasilize is Jolteon. His only one he can Terrasilize is Pincurchin, so probably not gonna see a lot of Terrasilization this game. I brought the Terra Ice again. I was thinking Terra Fire might be pretty good this week, but didn't really have the opportunity to swap that around. Goes for the Psy Shock. Hatterene takes that. We'll try to get Nuzzle off, but I do think a Moonblast will knock out Hatterene. Yeah, so Hatterene goes down. We can go into Walk and Wake. Now, I don't think it'll KO here, though. So I think we're going to go for the flip turn and maybe sacrifice one other Pokemon. Because it's like a... If I remember right, it's a pretty uh, lopsided roll to not KO. Or it might not even KO. I, I can't quite remember. Iron Valley doesn't have the best uh, special defense, though. Going to Ogre Pond here. Uh, should be able to take a Moonblast pretty nicely. Yeah, not doing much there. I was thinking that we were just going to end up sacking Ogre Pond here, but uh, the close combat comes out and we barely hang on, which is great. So now this Ivy Cudgel in the sun going to do huge damage, take out the Iron Valiant. Which is just great. Good to see Ogre Pond getting some work. Sends out the jug. Now, I do think we should be faster here. Go with the Ivy Cudgel. Gonna do some big damage. Gets another knockout. Not even getting the, uh, the crits. We're just bopping things with our club. His last Pokemon is the Iron Hands. Now, obviously, Iron Hands is gonna be able to take a hit here. Gonna knock out Ogre Pond with the Drain Punch. But we should be able to send 
walk and wake out here and get the KO with the Hydro Steam pretty safely. Game one, we take down PSG. Uh, Ogre Pawn actually doing some work there. I, I was happy to see that. I didn't really check the calcs on a lot of that stuff, but great for it to be able to take a Moonblast and... take that close combat to follow up. Game two, uh, he led with Iron Tread, so we could definitely just go with Wake and uh, like flip turn out if it's something else that we don't want to go against. So I think that's the play we're going to go with. So this time he leads off with the pin kerchin. So we can get a flip turn off and go into uh, Hatterene. Flip turn so nice for uh, Walking Wake, especially on choice sets, because it was always kind of lacking that fourth move. Now if they try and go for the uh, Thunder Wave or Spike or something. Yeah, see, so they were trying Thunder Wave again, but... We just get a little damage off, get Hatterene in. I'm gonna swap out here. Goes right into Iron Hand, so would have been nice if we had Dazzling Gleam there to get some uh, damage on Iron Hands. But go for the Calm Mind. Now, in the Electric Terrain, attack boosted. I definitely think Wild Charge will probably KO us, so it is a little risky to keep Hatterene in here. But, I mean, we can't really swap anything out. Uh, may maybe we could have, uh, brought in Jolteon here, because we're going to see the eject button force us out on that Thunder Punch. Going into Ninetales, uh, we're going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here, that'll really... Hinder Iron Hands. But we missed, and that is a huge miss here. Because uh, that Drain Punch is going to knock out Nine Tails, and now. Now we're going to have to really work to knock out this Iron Hands, because it's a thick boy, and he's in the electric terrain, and. Yeah. He's got the Drain Punch, so he'll be able to heal some up. So, going to Walk and Wake, we're just going to try and get as much damage off as we can. This does potentially make us weak to Iron Valiant in the end game. We get some good damage, but he's going to heal back. 
a good portion of that. Just want to keep him, like, under half. Because then one of our other Pokemon can finish it off. Maybe we get lucky we get a crit. No, but the uh, Drain Punch, unfortunately, going to knock out Walking Wake. But, yeah, with that Will-O-Wisp miss, this is kind of what we had to do to weaken Iron Hands. So the sun is still up, so Weather Ball just becomes a really strong move here with our Choice Vex Jolteon. Uh, one of the reasons why I was thinking Terra Fire, because re really Fire is a strong type into uh, PSG here. So we're able to knock out the Iron Hands there. He's gonna send out Iron Treads. Um, which is pretty crazy. Because, uh, this weather ball is a heat-seeking missile. I'm gonna take out Iron Treads just like that. Been going to Pink Hershey. He's gonna get his terrain back up. Maybe he thought he uh, had the terrain still up and would have a speed boost with Iron Treads. We're gonna go for another Weather Ball here, and uh, that one shots Pink Hershey as well. So Jolteon just cleaning up here, bringing us right back into this game. Jugglers comes out, gets its Quark Drive. Gonna boost its speed, so it will be faster than Jolteon here. Gonna check and see how many more... Uh, then we got this last turn of Sun. So we might as well... Like, we're not gonna get the Sun back after this. Yeah, last turn of Sun. So we might as well just get one more Weather Ball off. Here goes for the Earth Power, though. So Jolteon... Oh, Jolteon just hanging on. Wow. So Jolteon just being a menace. Gonna knock out Iron Jugulus as well. Our sunlight does fade, however, but PSG down to only two Pokemon here after... Getting two knockouts on us pretty quickly. Iron Leaves comes out. Now, the sun's not up, but I don't think Jolteon's going to really do anything else here. So we might as well just get a little bit of chip damage off. And Jolteon, you deserve a good rest. KOing four Pokemon there with the Weather Ball, which is a great buff for Jolteon. On our team, you know, depending on its Terra type, uh, that gives it so much coverage. So Ogre Pond should be able to outspeed um, Iron Leaves here. And we know that it can take a hit from uh, Iron Valiant as well. The so Ogre Pond in its first match of the season coming in really doing some good work. Cudgel gonna take out 
iron leaves. <clears throat> and Iron Valley and the last Pokemon on PSG. Uh, they could definitely get a crit here. But I think we should be able to survive everything. There's a close combat. We take that nicely. The defense drop should guarantee the KO here. Maybe if they had gone for like back-to-back -back Psy Shocks. I don't know if they could have survived a uh, the Ivy Cudgel. I assume they can out of the sun. So that might have been the play there because the defense drop might have done it. But yeah, 2-0 uh, for your Boston Braviaries. Make sure to check the playlist for everyone else who's recording. And as always, stay classy, society.